Okay, I don't know what's going on with my throat tonight. I hope you make this through. I don't feel bad. I just, it's like. Did <coughs> you have a bunch of dairy earlier? <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, so we're going to start with our pine tree block, which was, <clears throat> again, a little block that I designed for this class because. I thought the block, block that I did, the first one for the tree, was pretty but very complicated. So we went for the easier version. So we're going to see if we can put everything together here and all right, get it turned all the right way. Last night I was taking all these little pictures, you know, to go on our handouts. So we're going to look at what we're going to cut out for this one first. Um, this is going to be a strip that's going to be like um, the ground at the bottom of the picture. Okay, This little strip is the one that's right in the middle between the trees. It's your background strip. Here we've got a little trunk. And then we've got our, our trees. And I did it with three colors. I mean, the tree could be done with all of these being uh, one color if you wanted to, whatever you want to do there. But I liked it with three colors. I just thought it made it stand out a little bit more. And it doesn't have to be three colors of green either. It can be. Well, if I get three colors of green for the other thing, I'm going to have to three colors of green left so I can do this one. Yes, you can do all kinds of things. And then we have lots of little um, background blocks. So that's my ba background fabric. And then there's two other little pieces of background fabric, which are going to go along the side of the trunk. So that's what we've got right there. Three greens, uh, our background fabric here, just one little trunk and one strip at the bottom. Okay. So we're going to start out first with our little trunk. So the idea is that this little unit is going to be a little trunk in there between. So the first thing we'll do is put that over there, stitch it. Let's see how, how much stuff I've got here and if it makes any sense to me now. Okay, here we go. So here we are. We laid the right sides together. We're going to stitch down this edge, and that's going to now give us a piece that looks like this. We're going to put this on there. Again, stitching down the edge. So here we've got the next one stitched. And now somewhere we should have a full piece. So that that is a simple little thing to put our trunk together, okay? And you're going to make two of these units because we've got two trees in our block. So we're going to get these out of the way. We're going to set our little trunk off to the side because we're going to need that in a minute. And now, everybody remember how to make our... Um, our little triangle things. So we've got our color, and what do we do? This is something everybody should know at this point. Just keep it on here. And first you mark the back of it. First you mark the back of it. You put your, you put your little diagonal line on there. <clears throat> and then once you get that on, you're going to stitch right on the line for this one. This is not the one where you... Uh, stitch on the other sides of it. So trim it off and open that up. So there's the first half. Now I am going to just mention here that this is actually one where the block, the square we're using, is a fairly good sized block and you can get a lot of bonus triangles by stitching a second line like half an inch away from the stitching line and clipping between it and then you've got all these little half triangle blocks left over. 
And from what I did yesterday, I've got a mound of them sitting at home that I haven't figured out yet what I'm going to make with them, but it'll be a border to something because I've just got a lot of them already made. Okay. So now here we are with the, the block started. We're going to take another one of these. Got our line drawn on there. Stitch on your line. So there we are stitching. And remember, if you want that extra block, stitch a half, half an inch away, clip between them. Press that open, and we've got our, our triangle. <clears throat> so now, for each tree, we need three triangles. So you're going to make three of those. And, um, you know, I've got one, one light one, one medium one, and one dark one. So now the next thing we want to do here is we want to stitch these together to make them one tree. So, you know, the natural thing is just fold that over. But I flip it over then so that as I'm stitching there, again, I've got that intersection point. Where these lines cross is where you want to go through with your quarter inch seam. That, that's what gives you your perfect point on your triangle with that. Well, what I'm going to say is when you stitch that, and we're trying to, you know, we're aiming for that point right there, I always stitch just like a hair above that. Because if you stitch right through it and then you fold, it actually still ends up in that fold a little bit. So I stitch just above that intersecting spot. And then when you flip it over, you've actually got a point there. I had trouble with the star. <laughs> and when I went littler, then I got a bigger, bigger square. <laughs> yes, see this is just, just like at the top edge of that little intersection there. Oh, okay. Okay? And, and then see when you do that, it comes out with a really good point on it. Okay, so we throw, we sew those three together. Now we've got the top part of our tree. We're going to add this to it. And boy, that's an easy tree to make. I, and it's a cute tree. So that's going to give us this. And remember, we had that one long, skinny background piece. That just goes between them. Flip it over. <laughs> now when you're doing this again, watch the points there and go just at the edge of those points and do that on both sides. And so now we've got this put together. Okay. And it really, it really does make nice, that one's not quite as perfect, but you know, good little points there. Now you take your strip, and I always, I tend to think it's kind of nice to put flowers like they're out in the meadow or something, I don't know. But I was having trouble finding flowers that I liked yesterday. But So there's our block. So, on this block, we're really not learning any new techniques, it's just a matter of laying it out. So this one shouldn't be, I don't think, really, really hard for you because you've already been practicing. And if you did the stars, I'm not happy with the stars yet. I but this is this is easier than the stars because well, comes out, I'll be excited. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is easier than the stars because you don't have as many points to worry about.